Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and today we're getting into the final doll from the Rainbow High Fantastic Fashion lineup for Project Rainbow. I have Violet Willow and she was voted to be done last for some reason. I think that she's underrated though, but look at the box here. So pretty and purple. We have the second outfit on the right side. We have Violet over here on the left and some accessories up at the top there and on the back of the box, you can see that we have all of the little girls right here. And we have a read up down here. If you want to pause the video and read that for yourself, you can go ahead and do so now. And on the bottom side of the box, we have the barcode. So if you want to screenshot this, so you can go ahead and try to find Violet in the wild, there's your chance to do so. But as far as the box is concerned, everything is pretty simple. There's really not much else to talk about here. Uh, I do like how these boxes are designed though. They're really great for inbox collectors. So if that's you, you're probably rejoicing and very happy about how this box style is with this huge open window and all this space inside of here. It just looks very well put together. But that's about all we can say about the box. I mean, there's really not much else to get into with that. Um, but we do have to take Violet out of the box so I can tell you what I think. But before I do that, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link is right beneath the like button down there in the description. And also, if you're new around here to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. That being said, let me go ahead and get Willow and, or sorry, Violet and everything out of the box here so I can tell you what I think of her. We can take a look at her together. All right, so I have everything out of the box laid out here on the table. And real quick, we're gonna set Violet off to the side so we can take a look at everything else in the box here. Uh, the first thing that we have here is her stand. It comes in the box. Pretty pretty typical stand. I mean, you, you all know what this is about already. Rainbow high stand. We got a nice little stand there and we have a color matched comb right here, which is pretty cool. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much in every single Rainbow high doll. We get that. I, I don't know why I tell you every time, but in case somebody new hasn't seen it yet and they're curious, there you go. Um, we also do have a little accessory here, which is pretty cute. It is a sketchbook. So you open it up here and you can see um, Violet can pretend to sketch with this little tiny pencil that has a thumb clip on it. It says Rainbow High on the outside, as you can see right there. And it is it is cute. I, I can I can deal without these. I'm not personally a big fan of all these like little accessories and stuff. I'd rather have like a second pair of shoes, to be honest, or something like that. But I digress, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, we also do have the second outfit here, which is this nice looking uh, dress right here. And we it also comes with this uh, very, very white uh, faux fur coat that we are going to see on uh, Violet here in the near future. So stay tuned for that. But that's all That's all that comes in the box, that's it. Let's uh. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at uh, Violet now. All right, so starting out by taking a look at her face. I love the eye makeup, I really do. Nice and sparkly, we got some purple there and a very nice lip color to go along with everything. Um, I gotta say, I am not a fan of her hair. I don't know what this is all about and what's happening with, uh, with these things right here, but I am not a fan and I am not a fan of any of this down here. There was, it, it was very crunch city, very, very crunchy hair. Not a fan, not a fan of, of Violet's hair, but it is what it is. That's how it came in the box and this is how I show it to all of you. But I'm, I'm gonna say I'm not a fan. She does not come with earrings either. What's up with all these dolls not coming with earrings? Like there's quite a few in this line that don't come with earrings. Um, you can see that we have these beautiful nails here. Uh, nice matching purple color right there. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, I think that she looks great. She has some hair clips in her hair, you can see right here, all over actually. Those are really cute. Um, so we have those kind of like all over the top of her head and up there in the front as well. But I am not a fan of whatever is happening. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not into it. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling it. I, I am, however, feeling this dress right here. The dress looks really cute. We have these little uh, glued on like pearl things on here. Um, it gives it a lot of texture. I know it's very like shiny and hard to see because of the light there, but yeah, it gives it a ton of texture and it feels really cool and it looks really cool too. And then we have these little ruffled like uh, feather looking leaf things, right? Leaf things right here. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be feathers or leaves. They look like they could be little leaves, but um, there's a close-up for you so you can 
kind of be the judge for yourself. Um, but it looks really cute. I just think the whole thing looks looks really, really cute. It's a very simple dress though. Um, and uh, we do have some of those same little leaves up here on the shoulder as well. And it all comes off the back via Velcro, so you can undo this Velcro to be easily able to get her out of the dress there. And I don't know, I, I'm not a fan of the hair, but I am a fan of the dress. And I'm also a fan of these shoes. Look at how cute these shoes are. They've got this like jelly kind of look to them. And I just think they're absolutely fantabulous. Yes, I said fantabulous. I don't think that's a word but it is today because Violet is just looking all kinds of good in this outfit. Like I said, I think she's underrated in the series. This is a very a very simple dress, but I kind of like it more than I like Amaya's dress, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure why, that's just how I feel. Let me know if your opinion differs in the comment section below. Another thing I'm not a big fan of with the hair is how it's tied up like kind of with itself. There is a rubber band here keeping everything in place, but you can see how that is done. Once that gets undone, I just personally will never be able to get it back to how it was originally. That's just uh, that's just me though. I'm sure other people are way better at that kind of stuff than I am, but not a big fan of the hair. Definitely love the dress, feeling the shoes. And if you wanna know what she looks like in her second outfit compared to the first outfit, here is a quick look at that. Um, I'd love to know which outfit you like better down in the comment section below, outfit one or outfit two. Please let me know because um, I think that I would have to go with outfit one. I like outfit one better, but uh, like I said, I'd love to hear comments below. So really there's not much else to say about Violet here. She's a pretty plain and simple doll, even though I actually like this level of simplicity. I mean, the dress is pretty in intricate. Like I said, we have all these little glued on um, pearls. Be careful with them because I'm trying to like see if I can scratch them off very easily to see how fastened they are to the dress. I think they're on there pretty good. They're not just gonna like fall off. At least most of them won't. Uh, Cause I'm just scratching at them right here to see if I can knock anything loose and that's not happening. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, but this was the last doll in the Fantastic Fashion Project Rainbow lineup. And oh my gosh, it's been such a fun ride unboxing all these. I, I think that this line is chef's kiss to be honest. It's just a, uh, it's really good. I have I have my gripes about some things in a line and like some of them don't come with earrings which is kind of weird and sometimes we get a purse, sometimes we don't. I wish that there was more consistency across the items that we would get in the box with the doll. Um, that's unfortunate that there isn't but what are you gonna do? It's not that it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. These are $34.99 each though, and I'd love to know if you think if they're worth it or not. Did you pick any up? Are you going to pick any up? Um, I will leave links down below in the description if you wanna go ahead and buy any of these for yourself. Um, you can find them on Amazon now. I think they're still available on the LOL Surprise website. But again, I'd love to know your comments and thoughts and everything. I always love to read those down in the comments section below. So be sure to drop a comment down there. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. What are you doing with yourself? There's so much fun happening there. Uh, that link is right beneath that like button down there in the description. And if you're new here to the channel, please don't feel, don't feel, feel free to subscribe <laughs> and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll see you later. Bye.